It's coffee time. It's the morning. It's Days with Jordan the Lion. I have a lot of stuff to do today. I got asked to work last night. I mean, for today. I got an email from casting director saying, hey, can you come work for me today? So I'm going to go work. But I know it's not going to be a long day, so I will have time for a vlog. And this is going to be a pretty fun one, too. I've had a request for the cemeteries, and today's another cemetery. Going to see the mangy one today. Groucho Marx. We are not in the nicest of neighborhoods right now. This is, uh... This is South Central. Cool houses, but... It's pretty bad down here. This is where the riots was. If we get done early enough today, maybe I'll go to the intersection where the, uh... The LA riots broke out. And, uh... You know, that just came up recently because I was watching that really awesome ESPN, like, I think it was like four or five part series on OJ Simpson, and they really cover quite a bit of uh, how the race race wars and the LAPD and just everything that was going on at that time and what kind of provoked the OJ verdict. It's really cool to watch if you have interest in that kind of stuff, but I'll probably go down to that intersection where they actually broke out, where they pulled Reginald Denny out of his car, or out of the semi. look like a Sanford and Son truck's coming up. Bow, 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 bow. I just looked it up and they said that the riots broke out on uh, Florence and Normandy. I do like the structures down here in South Central, but man, it is run down. You can tell. Just look at all this. I mean, this is... That's pretty much what South Central is now. It's all like this. Huh, peanuts. <laughs> Always been a man that loved his murals. Always will. I think where I'm going to be today is the church that's coming up here pretty soon. So I may have to say goodbye and catch up with you guys afterward. More cool murals. I think that's a school. Real planetary. Yeah, it's just auditorium. <laughs> That's the location I'm shooting in today. Yep, you're seeing what I'm seeing. Well, my dancing dad scene is done for the Microsoft commercial. I think I am going to go to uh, Florence and Normandy and uh, check out where the riot started. So here we are, and from everything I can place from the footage, it seems like Reginald Denny's truck would have been turning from coming towards me right onto here. The front of his vehicle would have been right here. And I matched it up because you can see that liquor store across the street. And, uh, and actually, this telephone pole still kind of matches, or this uh, light pole matches. And the building behind, which is an auto zone, the shape of that building still kind of matches. But if you, uh, if you match it up, yeah. His car would have been, his uh, big semi would have been turning, it would have been kind of coming towards us making a left right here, and he would have been pulled out right in front of that first white line, right here. So this would have really been the face of the LA riots, I feel like, that. crazy because it's such a huge part of LA history that was 25 years ago and I mean honestly I feel like we're not that too far from going back and kind of revisiting that so yeah there'll be like an aerial shot I'll post on here and you'll be able to see that liquor store and uh, the semi right here and Reginald Denny getting pulled out right in the middle. Party corner I like that clown. It didn't look like a killer to me. I was driving by here and I, we had to stop because I don't know what this is, but it's definitely awesome. Look at that. 
I have to look up that address. 11306 Laurel Canyon Boulevard. Wow. That is putting some serious time and effort into a cool looking house. It's an awful religious area out here in Mission Hills. I mean, this is even. Just say this to turn around a cul de sac and this is here. Well, here we are. Eden Memorial Park. Today I'm at Eden Memorial Cemetery because, uh, well, there's two really important people buried here. I mean, this is a, a Jewish cemetery. Um, but if you're a fan of comedy, Lenny Bruce is buried here. Lenny Bruce is pretty much the reason that we, as comedians, are able to say the things that we say because he stood up for our rights to say them. And uh, got to pay homage to Lenny Bruce. Now, the other person that's buried here is another gigantic, gigantic person in comedy, especially for me, Groucho Marx. Not just trying to be cool like in Groucho Marx, but if you've ever watched Groucho Marx, you'd understand. And when we find him, I'll tell you a little bit more about what I love about him. Kind of sad, there's a few of these out here where people just don't have cemetery uh, markings. They have these little white ones and they're kind of everywhere, so I think it's a little bit more than temporary. Well, this one wasn't easy, but here it is. Lenny Bruce Schneider. Look at the piece at last. Like I said, I mean, we owe a lot to Lenny Bruce. It's thanks to Lenny Bruce that people like Sam Kinison and People like Eddie Murphy and, well, anybody in comedy can say the things they say because he went to jail for that. He fought for our right to say the kind of things that comedians get to say now. And, uh, wow, this is where it all ends up. Peace at last. Look at that. I don't understand the Jewish religion. This is a Jewish cemetery. I don't understand it enough to know what that is, but it's beautiful. It's all um, tiling, like mosaic tiling, if you can tell. Look at that. The detail on that is just incredible. If you just appreciate cemeteries, this is a pretty amazing looking cemetery. I don't, you know, personally, I don't even know if I want to be buried. I don't know if I want a memorial. Right now, I don't really have much of family to be remembered by outside of my, uh, you know, parents and grandparents and sister and everybody dies, so it may not really matter for me, but uh, I can imagine if you have kids and nephews and nieces and all that stuff, you probably want a place they can come out and visit you like this, and it's a pretty nice one. Well, if I'm not mistaken, it should be in here, because it says it's a small room inside the mausoleum. Oh, there he is. Wow. Such a gigantic personality. I mean, this is another guy. I'm not just putting Groucho Marx on here because he's here. My friend Robert, who moved to South America recently, really got me into Groucho Marx when I first moved out here. We watched all the Marx Brothers movies, all the good ones anyway, and he also loaned me the books. He loaned me uh, Groucho and Me, which was an autobiography that Groucho wrote, and Memoirs of a Mangy Lover, and just read a lot of Groucho Marx, and man, I just, I've always loved the guy. One of the funniest, most hilarious personalities of all time. Not that I care, but where is your husband? Why, he's dead. I'll bet he's just using that as an excuse. I was with him till the very end. <laughs> no wonder he passed away. 
I held him in my arms and kissed him. Oh, I see. Then it was murder. Will you marry me? Did he leave you any money? Answer the second question first. He left me his entire fortune. Is that so? Can't you see what I'm trying to tell you? I love you. Oh, Yari. Look at that. Somebody also, uh... Look at that. Somebody also put a cigar in there as, long, uh, as well as with some, uh... Groucho glasses. I didn't realize that's what that was. It's a cigar. You bet your life, Groucho. My favorite Groucho is uh, A Day at the Races, A Night at the Opera, Duck Soup. If you're looking for some Marx Brothers to try out, see if you like it, those are the ones I would go with. I have seen that pink truck in the neighborhood for years. I've never really thought anything of it. And then the other day, the back of it was open. The, uh, where you pull up the, uh, the back, that was open. There was nobody in the, the vehicle. It was just left out there. And it's racks and racks of wardrobe. Woman's wardrobe. I'm telling you, this is what I think it is. I think that I got a hoarder that lives in this neighborhood and they've outgrown their space and they have now put all their stuff in there and they're only moving it on street cleaning days. I'm gonna investigate this further as time goes on, but I'm, I've gotta believe that's the case because it was every era of clothing, of women's clothing you can imagine. That's the night sky we're dealing with right now. John and I are heading out to Trader Joe's. For the last three or four days I've been trying to get my fill of that pumpkin ravioli and they've been out of it. I know they'll pull it off the shelves because anything that's good they usually do. I was a big fan of the, uh, they had this like lemon zest and ricotta ravioli. It, it's like the fresh stuff you can buy and you, you know, you make it yourself. It was great. Now you can't get it in the store anymore. I think it's seasonal, so. We're heading to see if we can get some more. They said they'd have some more in today. But, uh. Let me know what you guys think of the uh, video quality, if it's any better for the last two days. When I came home yesterday, I, uh, I edited the uh, Reservoir Dogs vlog. Transferred it on, uh, what is it? Video Shop, that's what I was using this whole time. And I, what I've surmised is that they're dropping it down to 720 or whatever, 780p, whichever one it is. I think they were bumping my quality down to that. So I downloaded a new app, paid for the update that you have to pay for, and now I'm getting the big dog, the 1080p. So let me know if the quality is any better on YouTube for you guys. I didn't notice as much pixelation as I normally have anymore, so hopefully that might have been the problem with why I've been complaining about the camera quality for so long. Anyway, I'll let you guys know if we get that pumpkin ravioli. I haven't really eaten yet today, so I've been holding out for this. Let's hope that Trader Joe's does not fail me. Well, let's play a little game. Let's play a game called, did they have the pumpkin ravioli or not? Now, I wasn't going to go in Trader Joe's and only get that. I, I was going to get something else. I mean, I have to have something in my refrigerator. And right now all I have are eggs and green juice, so... Let me tell you what happened. I walked in. I made twists. I made turns. I had high hopes. I had low hopes. I made it to the back where the ravioli sits. And I looked upon it. And there was none there. It looked exactly the way it did the other day when I was there. They must have lied to me. So... But then, ta-da, I bent down and I looked where the big hole was and in the back, pushed all the way back to the back of the stock, were three packages of it. That's what I was looking for. So my guess is that they actually did put it out and everybody came and bought it. So I guess I have nobody to blame but myself because... I mentioned on the vlog the other day how awesome they were, and everybody went into hurricane survival mode, and everybody stocked up, so 
I bought the last of what they had. And just to keep life honest, got some of the turkey corn dogs. Now I think that officially warrants a vlog over. Vlog over and bon appetit.